In the 14th century, a young man set out on a journey that would take him across the world. He was not a warrior or a king, but his determination and curiosity would change how people saw the world. This is the story of Ibn Battuta, the greatest traveler in history. Ibn Battuta was just 21 years old when he decided to leave his home in Tangier, Morocco, and journey east. It wasn't an easy choice, but he was driven by a desire to see the world, to learn, and to connect with people far beyond the borders of his homeland. The journey was harsh. The desert was unforgiving. Heat, sandstorms, and isolation tested Ibn Battuta's spirit. But he kept going, knowing that each step was bringing him closer to his dream of exploration. After weeks in the desert, Ibn Battuta arrived in Cairo, one of the greatest cities in the world. Here, he saw a new culture, new faces, and the vastness of human experience. Cairo was a city of knowledge and trade, a place where East met West. Ibn Battuta's journey wasn't without danger. He crossed deserts, jungles, and seas. And sometimes the world seemed ready to swallow him whole. But he held on, knowing that his path forward was the only one worth taking. After years of travel, Ibn Battuta's reputation as a knowledgeable traveler reached the Sultan of India. He was invited to the royal court, where he shared stories of lands far and wide. It was here that his journey took on a new significance. He was no longer just an explorer. He was a bridge between cultures. After nearly 30 years of travel, Ibn Battuta returned home. He had seen more of the world than anyone of his time, and his stories would inspire generations to come. He returned not just as a man of knowledge, but as a man who understood the power of curiosity, determination, and connection. Ibn Battuta's story didn't end with his return. He wrote about his travels, leaving behind a legacy that would inspire future generations to seek knowledge, to explore the unknown, and to remember that the world is vast and full of wonder.